Hi my dear students welcome back to the class of physics this is Ramesh now we are going to discuss about thermo ionic emission we know very well about electron em emission that is one of the type of electron emission is thermo ionic emission thermo ionic emission in a metal there is a large number of free electrons free electrons are usually present in the metal in the metal itself there are large number of free electrons we know very well about the character of the metal free electrons is the free electrons are the responsible for conducting electricity we know very well in the metal in the conductors free electrons are the most important one which conducts electric electricity efficiently we know very well okay what is thermionic emission when the metal is heated with some external source when the metal is allowed to heat we are generating externally we are we are creating we are applying heat to the metal that metal absorbs the thermal energy that means that electrons free electrons present in the metal absorbs thermal energy which we are applied from the from externally we are applying the thermal energy externally that means we are heating the metal so the free electrons present in the metal absorbs the thermal energy due to the thermal energy that free electrons present in the metal which overcomes the potential barrier okay it, it 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 is having enough energy sufficient energy to overcome the potential barrier because of the thermal energy which we are applied externally due to that thermal energy due to that thermal energy the free electrons break the bond between the nucleus which break the influence of the nucleus and the free electrons will able to flow in the metal that free electrons will come out in the metal the free electrons will come out in the metal that is called electron emission in this case in this case electrons are emitted with the help of thermal energy that is called thermionic emission because electrons are negatively charged particle they are called as negative ions so negative ions are anions so the electrons are negative ions these negative ions are emitted with the help of thermal energy this process is known as thermionic emission let us consider here here in an inductor coil which is connected to a battery when the battery is switched on the current will pass through the inductor coil that means it is heated up this this is a very good conductor which is heated up due to the external source this is the external source here which gives thermal energy to the uh, coil when this coil heated up the electrons present inside the coil absorb sufficient energy to overcome the potential barrier so the electrons leave out the metal so the electrons leave out the coil because of the thermal energy we applied externally so here the electrons the negative ions are emitted because of the thermal energy given by the battery thermal energy given by the source due to the thermal energy here ions are emitted this is called thermionic emission in this way electrons are emitted this is one of the way to emit electron here the thermal energy is the cause which which emits electron so this is called thermionic emission the intensity of the electrons emitted that means that means the intensity of electron emission means the number of electrons emitted per second the number of electrons emitted depends upon what depends upon the nature of the material and the temperature given the nature of the material it is not constant for all the metals it is different for different materials so the intensity of the electron emission depends upon the nature of the material and also depends upon the temperature applied these are the two things which control the electron emission this is about the electron emission thermionic emission electron emission is due to thermionic emission here okay 